come and shut down solenoid on the PT pump has been around for ages. And there was uh, mechanical shutdowns that had actual levers with cables on them that were on the PT pumps. And then they went to the electronic with the solenoid. And that first generation, if you had the engine running and you pulled the ignition power off of the solenoid and put it right back on, the engine would continue to decelerate until it stalled. It could not restart because the fuel pressure was holding that solenoid shut or in the off position and the magnet couldn't overcome it. And the magnet is the fuel solenoid, which is an electromagnetic solenoid. Well, in 1991, when they came out with the computers running the engine, they came out with engine shutdown. The feature, they came out with the end computer being to control the engine if it was running away. They had to be able to shut the solenoid off and then turn it back on without the engine having to stall. So they developed what was called the rapid restart solenoid. And I started seeing that around 1991 on up till 2010 because they don't use it on the common rail engines. But all the on-highway, off-highway generator sets, industrial, those engines, if they had a PT pump or the IFSM, had rapid start fuel solenoids on them, rapid restart fuel solenoids on them. So let's take a look and I'm going to show you how the pieces go inside of that in case you disassemble it and what pieces are in it and some part numbers. So here we go. So here's an exploded view of the rapid restart. Number seven is the fuel solenoid. Eight is the bolt that holds the whole assembly to the, in this case, an IFSM. But if it's on top of a fuel pump, it's just a, a different looking housing, but everything's the same. Uh, those bolts can be Phillips or Allen. I've seen them both. I've never seen Torx. Number six is a very thin stainless steel plate. It protects the face of the solenoid so that the windings aren't damaged. Number four is a bevel, stainless steel bevel spring. Number three is your actual shutoff plate. Number two is the rapid restart plate. Number one is the mounting O-ring. There's two of those. One mounting O-ring goes into the actual housing. In this case, it's the IFSM housing on the far left. And then there's one in that, in that aluminum spacer block that the assembly rides back and forth in. Uh, plate number three has a rubber grommet on it. That grommet faces towards plate number two. That little kind of bump you see on, num on uh, number three that faces towards the bevel spring is a little shoulder that centers that bevel spring. And this all bolts together, and that is your rapid restart solenoid assembly. Next, let's look at the part numbers. So here are the part numbers of these parts that are inside of the rapid restart solenoid. Uh, you've got the shutoff valve shield, the valve spring, that's the bevel spring, the valve disc that has that rubber center on the one side. The actuator disc has got a small hole in it so that the fuel pressure can equalize. And that's what the shutoff plate shuts the fuel off to. And then you've got the aluminum spacer housing. Those part numbers may supersede and change, but if you use this part number, the parts man uh, that you're dealing with will be able to supersede the number to the new part. Thanks for joining me on Engine Shop Joe.